This is KHQA Sports. Well, a big matchup today at 10th and Jackson. Q&D hosting undefeated Grigsville Perry. The Tornadoes coming into this one having scored 46 runs in three games. Joe Myers and the boys trying to set a statement early in this young season. Beautiful day out there today just to do that. GP defense was stout early on. Caleb Bradshaw and Myers working the DP to get out of the inning unscathed with the youngster Ryan Kelly on the mound who pitched very well early on. Bradshaw busting out his skills at the plate in the next frame. Single out into left. That one's going to bring home Jordan Dehart at third. Tornadoes taking early 1-0 lead in the first inning. Q&D goes up 2-1 in the second inning. However, it wouldn't be looking for more. Tanner Marshall crushes one way out there in a deep center. That one falls. Marshall runs all the way around into third for the triple. Lucas Frieden would bring him home at the next at bat. Nice chopper out in left. Raiders going to take a 3-1 lead at that point. More work a few frames later from Q&D. My man Kale Burktorf getting big at the plate. Tanner Marshall, he would come on in and score again. Raiders go up with a 4-2 commanding lead. Austin Ritter would close things out on the bump shortly after that as Q&D gets the job done today against undefeated Grigsville Perry. Final count in this one from 10th and Jackson, 4-2-2. Let's pass along some scores for you right now if we can. On the Illinois side of things, QHS gets a big time win today over Springfield Southeast. But the big note in this one, Elliot Brittle, complete game, two hitter. Nice stuff from the Blue Devils. Also today, Western gets it done over Unity behind Dawson Moore's home run. And Illini West takes down Liberty today, 2-1 to one off Colton Mellinger's walk-off home run. One more to pass along to you in the state of Illinois. Pace and Seymour falls at Brown County today, 7-5. to five. Over to the Show Me State, Scotland County, a big-time winner over Clark County today, 11-1 to one behind Tyler Buford's home run and three ribbies in that one. Canton, a big-time winner over Monroe City, 9-2. to two. Louisiana gets it done over Wellsville tonight. Hannibal falls at the hands of Kirksville in their home opener 10 to 1. Schuyler County's comeback falls short as Knox County gets it done 10 to 9 and that behind Corey Mowbray's first varsity home run so our congrats to him and also today Sturgeon falls to Centralia. Bryce Logson with the game winning RBI in that one. We're talking a little golf right now. How about Hannibal getting it done at the Monroe City Triangular today. The Pirates shoot a 159 and Jack Richard, Richards I should say paces Hannibal with a 38 through 9 holes. Good stuff from him. Greg Raylan and John Wood with a double header this afternoon. Blazers looking to bounce back after getting swept against Danville yesterday. Taking on the Jags again today. Early hitting from John Wood helping out. Ricky Green laying down the sacrifice bunt. That advances Zach Bishop to third. Q&D's Zach Bailey would bring him home at the next at bat with an RBI single. J-Dub going up with a one nothing lead. The runs just kept coming after that. Edric Rivera kept the assault going. Flies one out to center. Brad Marks trots on in to score, score I should say, extending the Blazers lead 2 to nothing. Jalen Poindexter had himself a day at the plate today. Two home runs on the day. One in the early game here with a two-run blast, and he had himself another in the nightcap. Jared Martinez working it on the bump a little later after that. Going to be closing things out. Blazers would cruise in this one. Final count. 15-2-2, and we have some scores to pass along to you as well as John Wood gets it done in the later game, 16-8. Jalen Boindexter, as I mentioned, another home run in that one. Also, John Wood softball team, they split a series today against Lincoln Land, 7-4, that should say. Uh, John Wood gets the win, and in the late game, John Wood falls to Lincoln Land by the final score of 11-3. Well, softball action today between Griggsville and Q&D. Tough to get a hit on that young lady right there, Mish Ash. Ashley Wensing. Her team with some run support today. Lady Raiders already up 4-1 to one in the fifth. Emily Kite bringing in some more. Sawyer Whalen comes in to score to extend the lead 5-1. to one. Nice defense from Wensing on the bump today as well. She's going to get the out right there and Q&D going to get the win in this one. Final count 8-1. Some scores to pass along to you in Illinois on the softball front. Jacksonville gets it done over Macomb tonight. 12-8. Also Unity, a one-run loser to Western in that one. And also tonight, South Fulton loses big to West Hancock. 9-1 in that one. And QHS falls to Central. Final count in that one. 4-2-1. Well, with one local wrestler taking his talents to Hannibal LaGrange next season, QHS's Josh Culp decided it was the right fit for him as well. He'll join Colby Collins from Hannibal in what is now a major local draw for the Trojan program. It's always been my dream to wrestle in college. I'm never, I always kind of thought I wanted to go away to college, get out, wrestle, but the more I thought about it, and I just have a great support system here in Quincy with my family, and friends, teammates, coaches. I just couldn't leave. Once I took my visit, I just felt like home. The coaches 
just made me feel like part of the team without, I mean, I was only there for a couple hours and I knew I had to be there. My teammates are great. I mean, they work hard every day and push me and they don't let up. If I'm not doing as well that day, they're going to take it to me and force me to wrestle hard. And I mean, it's people like Michael, Peters, Logan Hagerbomber that have all summer long, it's just, even when most people are sitting around not doing anything or playing another sport, we were in the room getting extra workouts in as much as possible. I mean, I think it's just helped me with my work ethic. I, let, I know college is going to be like a different level completely, but I've got the work ethic and I'm ready to get in there and compete. Very good pickup for Hannibal LaGrange, also a score I didn't read over there. The uh, Hannibal Lady Pirates on the uh, soccer field, they lose by the final score of 2-1 to one today against Boonville. But plenty more coming tomorrow, including more of our awards.